Hello everyone, this is General Hand Grenade. Welcome to my war room in Prince George, British Columbia. Well, we have reached the combat phase of your turn. Uh, there's uh, a number of different phases during your turn. First phase that we talked about was the uh, production phase where you produced your weapons and developed technologies. Then we did the combat movement in which we moved all of our units into, into combat. And there was many different kinds of combat that we moved them into. And, and um, I was going to resolve all the combat, but it occurred to me that that would make for a very long video. And plus, I think that uh, each different type of combat deserves its own video. You know, so if you wanted to check out strategic bombing, you could just go to the strategic bombing video um, and, and so on and so forth. You know, like there's convoy raiding and there's all kinds of combat. In this first video of the combat phase, we are going to stick with land combat, okay? And uh, we're going to resolve the combats that we, uh, there was a couple of different land combats, and there's it, there are two different kinds, and, and that's good. And I, I, I thought about this ahead of time, so, you know, I tried to, to get different types of scenarios, right? Um, so uh, so you, you would see different kinds of combat. Um, now, what you're looking at here is the battle boards, right? Uh, so you got your attacker and your defender, and if you were to flip these over, then the attacker one is this side. Like they give you two when you buy the game, and you just flip them over, and that's great. Like you, you probably wouldn't see them side by side like this very often, and that takes up a lot of space on the board, right? Uh, but what you would do is that you know, like you're on one side of the table, and your opponent is on the other side of the table, and then you would have your own battle board. And if you were the defender, then you'd flip it over and and. Uh, and then you'd be using the Defender one. Plus, uh, also in the cards here, and, and uh, we're using that Superpower Francis card, uh, because Francis is gonna go nuts here. And uh, on the back of that, um, it's helpful to read these because not all nations are the same, right? Uh, they, they have, uh, some of them have different numbers on the back here. Um, most of the numbers are the same, but, but you should check, though, with your nation and, and what you're using. Uh, you got to look at the attack and the defense values, right? And uh, probably the movement, although I think the movement for the most part is the same, but not necessarily. Like ships, for instance, some battleships go two and some of them go three. So you, you need to check on the back of your card for the nation that you're playing uh, to find out what they what, what happens and, and what their target selection is. <coughs> Excuse me, and things like that, right? So... Uh, so um, some of the, the, the things that we're going to be looking at is special abilities uh, because uh, everything is not really straightforward in this game like they are in a game of Axis and Allies where you take all of the pieces and you throw them down on the board and you say, okay, let's fight, you know, and everybody just rolls and you, okay, I got eight hits and that guy takes eight, eight, eight casualties and it, it's a little more complicated than that and it's complicated in a good way. I don't mean it's complicated like, oh, this is, <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Like, it's easy. It, uh, you just have to learn how to do it, right? And it, it just makes the game more interesting. Like, for instance, air superiority. Let, let's just take a look at this combat here. Uh, with, we haven't set this one up. Uh, the one that you see on the battle board, before we get going, I'll show you. The one that you've seen on the battle board is, if you watch the last video, um, it's uh, uh, from Marseille here. They were attacking into uh, to Turin. That's in northern Italy there. So that's what we have set up on the battle board is that attack. And we're also going to get to, to, to these attacks down here. But uh, let's just talk about this for a second. So air superiority is, uh, is all about fighters. Um, what, what to do with your fighters on the first round of combat. So you're going to roll everything. But if you get a hit with one of your fighters, like these guys got a fighter and these guys got a fighter, then you're going to apply that hit to uh, an air unit on the other side, if they have one. Like if, uh, if Italy didn't have a, a, a fighter there and, and France hit uh, with their fighter, then you would just choose a, a ground unit, right? Because there's no air unit. But if they do have any kind of air unit, could be bomber, could be tactical bomber, could be anything, right? Then, uh, then they have to 
take a plane as a casualty in that fight. And that's only with fighters. That's not with tactical bombers. That's not with medium bombers or anything. That's just by fighters, okay? So in the first round of combat, and that's, you know, like the dog fights that are happening above your head while you're down on the ground shooting people, right? The fighters attack each other and then they, then it's just a free for all after that. But in the first round of combat, it's fighters against other aircraft or land units if there is no aircraft to shoot. And the, another thing that is interesting is, is uh, first strike. And uh, we're talking about land combat here, so we won't worry about submarines, but they've got first strike too. So if you, if you look here, there's a first strike box here. It says first strike here. And so it's for your uh, artillery and your advanced artillery, or for your subs, right? But uh, with land combat, we're only concerned with artillery in this one here. So the, and that's on the attacker and here's the defender's board down here. So same thing, uh, artillery and advanced artillery and their subs in here as well. So those things are first strike and we'll get to that as we're setting things up. Now, when I set these things up on the board, I didn't, uh, I didn't pair them yet. Uh, because we were, I wanted to do that on camera. I didn't want to move all the stuff to the battle board because uh, that would just take uh, some time to do that and everything, and, and there's no need for that. Uh, just know that I took all the guys from Marseille, and that, or sorry, all the guys that moved into Turin on combat move, and if you want to see what happened there, then go watch the last video that I made on combat movement, and you will see where all of these guys came from, okay? They didn't all come from Marseille. Some of them came from Paris. Um, so, um, then uh, you have to be aware that there's target selection. So, uh, some, some units have a target selection. And again, I would uh, refer you to your card here, looking on the back of your card. Like for instance here, a medium bomber, or sorry, not a medium bomber, a tactical bomber has a target selection of one to three, and that's just for ground and naval units. So we've got this, uh, We've got this tactical bomber right here. Now, if this tactical bomber were to hit, he could choose whatever casualty he wants, right? He, he, uh, except uh, not the plane. Unless the plane was the only thing that was left there, then go ahead and shoot that bastard out of the sky. But um, he could choose, like if there was a tank in here, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of unit it is. If he rolls a one to a three, then he could choose that unit and say, that's the one I want. I don't want you killing a dude. I want you killing that tank. <laughs> And so that you would remove the tank from the battle board, right? Uh, or from the map if you're not using the battle board. So that's what target selection is. And then there's also pairing. So some units gain special abilities when they're paired with other units. Uh, and it's uh, usually listed as a ratio. Like the mechanized infantry can blitz with an armor uh, on a one-to-one -one basis, right? Um, but you can't pair with two things at the same time. Like you can't... Uh, you, you can't pair with, with one unit for um, like, a, like your, your uh, artillery here can pair with an infantry class unit, right, to, uh, to upscale its attack. So you couldn't pair one artillery with this guy here and this guy over here, you know what I mean? Like it's, uh, actually I don't think you can, these guys are armor class. So you couldn't pair them with this guy and with this guy. You know what I mean? You can only pair them with one of those guys, not with two of them, right? Um, anyway, so uh, that's, um, that's where we're at then. Um, so let's just take a look at, at, at what our modifiers are. Because this isn't a straight ground attack, attack like this one is here. See, the, there's nothing, there's no cities, there's no, there's no mountains, there's no rivers or anything. But up here, where, where we're going to do this attack, there is. And we've talked about this in the past, and so uh, you should be aware of it already. And, but we'll just go over it really quickly here. So we're going from this country here um, into this country here, or territory, sorry. And we'll see, we see here that there is... Uh, mountains on the border on the inside of this territory. Doesn't matter when, when, where, what's over here, you know, whether it's rivers or mountains or anything. What matters is what's over here. We have to go through a border territory or, yeah, uh, a mountain border. Uh, it's not a whole territory that's mountains. Uh, it's just the border that's mountains. So we have, we're tacking into a mountain border territory, which means that our ground units are going to be minus one only on the first round of combat except for mountain infantry uh, mountain infantry is not going to be minus one 
um, and and the rest of the ground units are uh, your planes aren't affected by that because <laughs> they don't have to climb the mountain right they're already in the air and they can just tee off like they were like they would if it was flat land um, so we need to be aware of that uh, and it's not a city we're not attacking into a city so there's no modifier there so now let's go to the battle board and I didn't modify anything what I did was I just went and sat everything on the battle board uh, at where it, where it says to put up so like here it says medium armor I put medium armor there right okay and we've got two of those now we're attacking a border territory so that's minus one so these guys go minus one um, and everybody else except for mountain this guy doesn't go minus one these go these go minus one these go minus one and these go minus one so you go from three to two from two to one right but now we have uh, we have um, artillery that's going to make uh, infantry class units plus one so we could choose to bring these two infantry back up to here or we could choose to bring one of them up and bring one of them up here see like it says uh, artillery supported infantry uh, we could choose to bring him up here um, so let's do that then we'll, we'll put one infantry back there and one infantry up here and and this guy up here so that takes care of these guys here uh, so now we've got the defender right now uh, when you're defending a mountain border or a mountain territory uh, then the mil the mountain infantry are plus one so you look here mountain infantry in mountains he goes plus one now remember we're only doing it for one round of combat and so we have to be aware of that now we've got the artillery uh, the artillery can upscale uh, either the infantry or the mountain infantry so we can decide which where uh, do we want to make a four into a five or do we want to make a five into a six let's do it this way let's make a, a, a four into a five um, there we go okay so uh, or we could we could use the militia we could take the militia and put him up to three let's do that Let, let's let's make the militia a three instead of a two um, and now you, one other thing I, I would mention is that you have to make sure that you're using the right um, side of the of the board because if you notice here the infantry attacks at two but they defend at four so if you had your board opposite <laughs> your your guys would be attacking at four right and and that's not that's not how it's played so make sure if you're the defender you're using the defend side of the board and if you're the attacker use the attack side of the board that's very important okay so now we've modified everything um, and we're ready for combat and so what we'll do is we'll get our dice and we will attack um, before I start though I would just mention uh, if you watched the last video there was lots of attacks that I showed you like we've got attacks here right uh, we've got attacks uh, where we're going to attack these boats and then if that's successful then we're going to attack Rome um, and there could be other attacks on the board and there was but not for the French um, if that's the case it's up to the uh, attacker to decide which order he wants to do the attacks in he or she wants to do the attacks in uh, it, it, it in axis and allies there was a certain order you had to go strategic bombing raid then you had to do amphibious assaults and then all the other combat came after that not so in this game in this game you can do it in any order you want it's up to the attacker um, so uh, what, what I don't believe you can do and I don't think it's stated but you couldn't uh, attack this guy for instance and then go back and attack this over here and this and this and this and then take the tanks, tanks and the mechs and attack this guy like if, if you're going to blitz then you have to keep blitzing you have to keep going with that okay so let's let's just move this camera up here now so that we can see what should we use let's use blue dice for the French since they're blue okay so now we're going to roll with the attacker first and we have to look for first strike uh, first strike remember was in in on land combat it's the uh, the artillery so we only roll artillery first and one thing we forgot to do was move our artillery right because artillery is a land unit so a good thing I just remembered that so it is only going to roll at a two in the first round of combat uh, and this one stays at three it's not uh, it doesn't get upscaled or anything only the mountain infantry gets upscaled uh, 
Um, and then artillery is going to upscale an infantry. So, uh, so we got two at two here. We roll that, and we got misses there. We got a five and a ten. Okay, then we're going to roll one for the artillery for the Italians, and they have a three. And we rolled a ten. Okay, so that's a miss as well. Now, if we had hit with either uh, either side, then we would remove the casualties at this point. Like if we had hit with the French artillery, then these guys would choose to lose a casualty, and it's up to them um, unless it was armor selection. But in this case, there wasn't. There's no uh, there's no um, casualty selection for armor, right? Or sorry, for artillery. So. Uh, so they would probably lose this guy, like lose, lose, the, lose the guy that's worth the least, right? But uh, we don't have to worry about that because there was no hits there. So now we move on to all of our other units. And you can do it any way you want. You can start at the top uh, at the medium bomber and work your way down, or you can start at the bottom and work your way up. Let's start at the bottom down here. So we've, we've got three at one. We've got, uh, we, we've already rolled these, okay? So we've rolled the, the artillery. So we've got three at one. We have one, two, three at two. Uh, we've got one at three. Um, and we've got two at five, one at six, and one at seven. So let's just move that up there so you can see the, the thing. So we've got three at one. And those are all misses. And then we've got three at two. And those are all misses. And then we've got our mountain infantry at three. Uh, that's a two, so we've got one hit. So um, let's just remember that, okay? They don't have to take them off now, but they have to. They have to lose them before they, they uh, before they roll back. So that's one hit. Uh, then we've got two medium tanks, and they're at five or less. Uh, there's another hit, so that's two hits. And then we have the fighter. Now we have to remember this. Uh, Oh, you know what? They don't have any aircraft in this, so we don't have to worry about air superiority in this fight here. So the fighter, uh, eight, and that's a miss because he fights at six. And then we have the medium bombers, and he is at seven or less. And that's a nine, so that's a miss. So now the French got two hits, and the Italians have to decide which two units to take off. Now, I would not take off this guy, right, because he's got first strike. Um, and these guys are worth more than this guy. So let's just, that's one hit. Um, so we move him down to the casualty line down here. Uh, so that's one hit. And let's just, let's just lose a dude. That's two hits. Okay. So we leave them down here. So we know what the, we're not going to confuse ourselves. Like there's not many units here, but if there were, then, uh, um, we we might forget okay how many dudes did i have like if you threw if you threw your chips back in the box or whatever so we've already we've already rolled the artillery we have one at three there's three at four and one at five okay so let's uh let's bring the camera back up here so we have one at three that's two so okay that's one hit and three at four so we got one hit Two hits, we had uh, two there, and then we have one at five. So two hits, and a ten, that's a miss, so two hits. So now what happens is, these guys lose these, these things are done, and uh, the French have to take two casualties now. So what they will like to do, since uh, there's no target selection for the Italians, they're going to lose their least uh, uh, important units. And uh, let's let's just lose the two dudes that they have there, okay? There we go. So now it's the second round of combat, and we are uh, uh, the mountain border is no longer in effect. So nothing is affected by the mountains. So that means the artillery is going to go back to where it was. Um, uh, let's just let's just move everything back, and then we'll uh, and then we'll do everything, okay? So uh, there's all of that. And then also the mountain infantry down here goes back to being here, okay? 
Now, so um, everything is back to where it should be if there was no modifiers, but we need to modify for the two artillery. So you can choose to bring these guys up to a three, or you could choose these two threes up to being, oh, sorry, these are, these are, sorry, these are armor class. You have to go with infantry, right? And so there's only one infantry that you can move. And that might have been a good reason why you might lose one of these instead. So let's do that instead. Let's, let's say that we were thinking about that ahead of time. And, uh, and we lost one of those instead of this. So we can move this guy up here. Okay, that, that's, that would be smarter. And these are the kinds of things that you need to think about. That's why it's a little more complicated. And that's why I didn't think of it right away because I'm a fairly new player here, right? But these are the kind of things you're gonna to wanna to think about. And then on um, these ones here, uh, we've got our first strike here. Um, uh, or sorry, we've got our artillery. So when did these guys get modified? And uh, so we might as well, there, let's just modify this guy. Like we, we had to pick one or the other and it didn't matter which one, right? So let, now we go into our second round of combat. Now I should mention at this point that um, the, 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 uh, uh, at the end of any round of combat, the, uh, the attacker can choose to retreat. And one of the things that is a slight difference in this game from Global 40 is that you can choose into any number of retreat into any number of territories that you attacked from. In Global 40, you had to move everybody back to the same territory, all your land units. Uh, they could be any territory you wanted that you attacked from. Uh, one, it, uh, it had to be a territory that you attacked from. <clears throat> Excuse me, but they had all had to go back into the same territory. In this game, you can move them all back into multiple territories if you want, as long as you attack from all of those territories. But we're not going to do that in this case. In this case, we think we still are, are going to kick the crap out of these guys. And we really want that territory. If you watched the last video, you, you know what we're doing here. We're going after Rome. And this is uh, these guys are the ones that would, would try to take Rome back. And that's why we want these guys. So anyway, we're all ready to go. We've decided we're not going to retreat. So we look at it here again. Okay, now we have one at two. Or sorry, we, we have to do the artillery first. Got to remember that. Uh, it takes a while, like when I was playing the game against myself there, without anybody here reminding me, I, I'd get through an attack, oh damn, I forgot the artillery again. So you got to remember the artillery, their first strike, right? So we've got two for the British and, or sorry, British, two for the French, and that's it, three. And those are misses. And we've got one for the Italians. And that's a miss as well. Remember, if we'd hit anybody there, they'd come off the board right now. That they wouldn't get a, they wouldn't get to shoot back. Okay, so now we have this guy here. We've got our motorized, and he's at two, and that's a miss. And we've got uh, one, two, three, four at three. That's uh, a dude and a mountain dude and two mechanized. That's four at three. We got one hit, two hits. Then we have two medium tanks and a fighter. And since we don't have to worry about first strike, like if there was something different between these things here, then we would roll them separately. But in this battle, at this point in this battle, there's no difference between these ones here uh, as far as taking casualties off. So we can roll the three of them together. Uh, but that's important though. Like if you're, if you had a, for instance, if you had a tactical bomber, and a medium bomber, you would want to roll the tactical bomber separately because that gets uh, target selection, right? So anyway, we've got two hits and we're gonna roll these three units here. Two hits and we've got three, four, five hits and that's everybody. I mean, we could roll the medium bomber if we want. There we go, a seven. <laughs> we've riddled them with bullets. Okay, so that's everybody. They, they move everybody down to uh, below the line here, but they get to they get to roll back because we didn't hit them on first strike, right? So we've got one at three They roll and they miss and then they've got two at four We're gonna roll and they got ooh, they got two hits there and one of them was a one and you whenever you get a one You should always take a look hmm uh, Try to remember your remind yourself does that guy have target selection? Because a lot, uh, some units have target selection at one. In this case, they were just dudes, right? And uh, dudes don't have target selection. But anyway, good shot, but 
<laughs> like if you had target selection there, you'd be taking a tank off. You wouldn't be taking a dude. So that's two hits. And then they have the mountain infantry at five. He was upscaled due to the artillery. And a miss. So France loses two. So what we're going to do, we have to ask ourselves, you know, like what, what's the best thing to keep here? Um, we're going to lose the dude. And I think we're going to lose the motorized. And then all of the Italians are off. So that's what it looks like at the end there. There's nothing on the defender side. The, the Italian units have been taken off. And the attackers units have been taken off. They don't really, they don't need to go to uh, the, the casual, below the casualty line. Because once they've, once they've since the defender is, is rolling second, um, they they come off automatically right like uh when they get when they get shot they get they just come up right off they, they don't go below the casualty lane they've already fired in that round of combat so then what happens is these units go back in to the territory let's just put this up here so the medium bombers up here and the fighter and two tanks and two mechs and a uh, mountain infantry and two artillery now we remember the tex and manx uh, tex and manx <laughs> Mex and tanks when paired together one to one can blitz right uh so you're thinking hey we should go after rome with those guys but we can't because you can't blitz when, when, when mountain, like even though it wasn't a mountain territory, it was a mountain border, we, we blitzed over or we, we attacked over a mountain, that means that we don't have the ability to blitz, okay? Like we, we, we can't do a blitz against Rome because of that. Otherwise, uh, that's what we would be doing here. We would take that fighter and we would take the, the two tanks and the two mechs and we would mechanized infantry and we would be going against Rome. But that's not going to happen here. So that attack is over and the other thing that we would do is we would put our pie on and so there's pie and that territory is worth three so we would take the italians down three from seven to four and we would take the french up three from five to eight Oh, sorry, I wasn't <laughs> wasn't looking at the camera. So we went down three with the with the Italians, and we went up three with the French. So we have to remember to do that when we take a territory, right? Um, like if you wait till the end, uh, then you how many territories did I take? And I just found that you know when I was doing because I don't normally use uh, I don't normally use a counter, but in this game you're going to need to use your your production chart because of all the bonus things and everything that happen. Um, in Axis and Allies, what I do is I just count up the territories and it's easy for me, right? But uh, in this game, you can't do that because it's not just the territories that give you production points. Okay, so then um, we're, we're deciding, okay, where are we going to go next? And I'm not going to go to the Amphibious Assault next because I want to make that into a separate video. So we're going to go here. And our intention is to blitz. Uh, if you've seen the last video, you know that this guy's coming over. He came from over there. He's going to carpet bomb these guys. And uh, this guy here is uh, uh, I'm using as my uh, transport plane. And he brought over the airborne guy. But we're not going to do that attack first, right? Because we want to bring we want to bring some of these units into here as well after this. But we need to make sure that we take these guys out on the first three uh, rounds of uh, combat or less, right? So. Let's just move all those over to the the boards here. Um, so we've got the mechanized and we've got the tanks, the medium armor, and we've got the anti-aircraft gun. Where does that go? There it is. See it's easy, you just you just set these down on top of um, on top of uh, we're near uh, where your things are. We've got uh, we got three artillery in this fight, and we've got the motorized infantry. And then we've got a tactical bomber. He's at seven, 
we've got the fighter at six. And then the Italians, we have a fighter. And we have two dudes. And that's it. So, now in this fight here, I probably wouldn't use a battle board. Um, I'm using it here because I'm trying to demonstrate the game, right? But in this fight, uh, with, uh, with uh, so few units uh, on this side, I probably wouldn't worry about it um, because it's probably only going to last one round of combat, maybe two, but probably only one round. And so I wouldn't worry about the battle board. Um, but when I'm demonstrating, it's just it's easier for you to visualize if I'm using this. So again, we're going to uh, look at this and uh, there's no modifiers, so we don't have to move anybody up or down. Uh, but we do have three uh, uh, artillery, and that means that we get to move three infantry class things up. And there's only two, so we'll just move these guys up. Um, you can make a house rule to, uh, to get your, your motorized or your mechanized as part of that. But in the regular rules, though, that does not include motorized or mechanized infantry. Those are armor class units. Uh, if you had cavalry, then the cavalry could move up. He would go from a three to a four, but not your, your not your vehicles. Even though they're infantry, um, the, in the, for some reason they just uh, they, they they don't allow it to upscale it with your artillery. So we've got three artillery for the French and none for the Italians. So we roll three, and they roll at three or less, and we miss them. Now, if we had hit all three of them, then these guys would not get a shot back because there's only three units, but we missed them all, okay? Oh, you know what? I forgot to do one thing uh, as well, and that's the AA gun. The AA gun gets to take up to three shots, uh, and that's uh, a little different in this game because uh, you can use it on attack, not just on defense, right? So we take a look at the AA gun here, and uh, anti-aircraft gun. Up to three rolls, and it's in the first round only, and uh, it attacks at three and it defends at three. So we're using it on attack. And so we get, uh, because there's only one fighter, we only get to roll one dice and we roll it and it's a nine. So that's a miss. Um, you can't see the dice tray, but I don't want to keep moving the camera on you. Uh, it was a miss anyway. So now that thing's not, uh, is not going to do us any good after this. So if we're, if we're taking a casualty, we might decide to, to take it on the anti-aircraft gun because we don't need it anymore, right? Uh, it depends, like, is, uh, does the Italians have a lot of aircraft down in Af Africa we need to worry about, you know? Like, uh, it might be beneficial to us down the road, but in this case, it's not going to be because there's not a lot of aircraft down there. So we're just not gonna worry about it. If we, if we do take a casualty, then we're gonna lose the anti-aircraft gun first because he doesn't get to shoot anymore. So, no, no, uh, no artillery for the defender. So then we go and we'll start, we'll go this way. Motorized, that's a one at two, that's a miss. And then we've got at three, we've got two, three, four, five. Oh, sorry, not the anti-aircraft. So that's four, and that's a one, two, two hits. And then we've got, uh, now we have to roll the fighter and the tank separately because they've got a fighter as well, right? So uh, we can't just roll three and say, oh, look, I got a hit. That means your fighter's dead. We don't know if that was a uh, fighter hit or if it was a tank hit. So we've got two hits already and we're going to roll the tanks and they got misses. And then we're going to roll the fighter and that's a miss. Well, that's weird. Okay, now we've got the tactical bomber. And remember, it has target selection. Not that it's going to matter, because the only things it can pick is either this dude or this dude. But it wouldn't matter if they had a tank or something, right? And that's a miss. So look at that. The Italians, uh, they're still alive. So they're going to obviously choose these two casualties, right? They're going to choose the two dudes. Okay, so they got uh, two at four and one at six. So two at four, and they missed them. And I'm not rolling too well today. Now this guy... If he gets a hit, he's going to take out one of their planes, right? So then they get to roll, and it's a three. So now uh, the French player has to decide which plane he wants to lose. Uh, so you could lose your fighter, you could lose your tactical bomber. You just it's it's up to you, right? Like uh, what? Uh, they're both completely different units in this game. You gotta gotta decide what's going on in the game. You know what's happening. It's not just a matter of taking the cheaper one. Maybe a fighter serves you better 
in the long run in this game than a tactical bomber does. Maybe the tactical bomber serves you better. It's up to you to decide, right? Uh, I know in the short term, what we're doing is going after these guys, uh, and a fighter would help against this guy, wouldn't he? So let's lose the tactical bomber just for that reason there, because in the first round of combat, he can take out that tactical bomber. So let's lose the tactical bomber. We know we're going to blitz with that guy. And so he's off, and so are the Italian dudes, and that's the first round of combat. Now again, you could decide to, to retreat if you were the attacker, but that would just be silly in this case, wouldn't it? We're going to kill the hell out of that fighter. So we've got uh, artillery first, and we roll the artillery at three, and those are misses. I'm not doing so well with artillery today. Okay, then we've got the motorized infantry at one, and that's a miss. And then we've got uh, the two dudes and the two mechanized infantry at three and we did get a hit there so there's one two there uh remember we're not using the anti-aircraft gun anymore right um because uh um because that's only for the first round of combat sorry i was just looking around there um okay so now uh with uh, now we get to roll back with the fighter because uh, we don't need to roll the, the tanks and the fighter. They only had one unit in there. So he's going to roll back at a six, and he missed. So now if he would have taken a hit, then I would have taken off the uh, the artillery, or sorry, the anti-aircraft gun, because we don't need that anti-aircraft gun anymore. So we're going to need a couple more pies, because I can smell another attack coming on here. Um, what did that take? That took two rounds of combat, right? So if you have, if you're able to take that out in three rounds or less, then you can keep going with your tech tanks and your mechs and your fighters and tactical bombers. So let's just put these down on here. Okay. Uh, all of these were in here. the three artillery and we got the motorized and we've got the tanks okay so that's what it looks like now right um, and we're going to decide that uh, that because it took less than three rounds or three rounds or less sorry we're going to keep going into the next territory with the tanks and with the mechanized infantry and with the fighter and uh, if you've seen where that fighter began in, uh, in the previous um, video, he started down here, right? In this territory. So he flew one space into here. Now he's gonna go two spaces into here. He couldn't go into here if he, if he couldn't land. So that's two spaces and we're gonna go three, four, uh, four. So we could land on either one of these or we could land up here in Egypt if we wanted. That would be a friendly landing space for us. Um, it's up to uh, whatever we want to do. Um, so joining those guys in there, we have our airborne infantry, we have our transport plane, and we have this guy here. Uh, that's a strategic bomber, and he is going to do a carpet bombing run. And there's no anti-aircraft in there, and there's no fighters in there, so there's no stopping them. Like there's no, uh, there's nothing you can do to stop that that. Uh, He's bombing from high altitude, right? So let's just do that, right? Uh, let's roll that guy first. So he's a strategic bomber, so he rolls three dice at two or less. And he missed them. Okay, so he's done now. So he flies home. He uh, He's going to fly back to this air base over here. And he's done. And now... Um, we could set all this up on the battle board, but this is pretty simple, right? So let's just leave it here. And this guy stays in for the first round of combat. You can use him as a casualty. Um, but if you lose him as a casualty, then you also lose this guy. But I'm just saying, like, if you lost two, you could lose those two if you wanted. But he only stays in for the first round of combat. And that's, uh, that's the uh, transport plane that we're talking about. So there's no... Uh, there's, there's no artillery, so there's no first strike here. Let's just set them over here. It's just easy enough. There's, there's only a few of them. Uh, the transport plane, so he doesn't fight. Uh, we've got uh, 
airborne infantry. And we got the mechanized infantry. And we got the tanks. Oops. And then we have a tactical bomber over here. Now the tactical bomber only rolls at five, not at seven. So that's another reason why you have to make sure that you're using the right side of the board. And infantry, they roll better, not worse. Okay. So this isn't by no means a guaranteed attack. We were hoping that carpet bomb could have done something for us. Um, and also losing that tactical bomber in, in the, the last fight there uh, what hurt us. It looked like it was going to be, we were going to steamroll, steamroll them, but now it doesn't look so good. But we're going to try it anyway. So this guy doesn't fight. See, it's at zero over here. That's what your transport's at. But this guy does. There's no artillery on either side. So this guy rolls at a two. And he missed. And our mechanized, they roll at threes. And that's misses. And we have two, two tanks, they roll at six. That's one hit. And we've got a fighter that rolls. Oops, sorry, he's, he should be over there. We've got a fighter that rolls at six as well. And that's a hit. Okay, so. Uh, remember, this is the first round of combat, right? So what happens with that fighter there is he takes out the tactical bomber. So that tactical bomber is gone. Plus they lose one more. They might as well lose a dude. Uh, we, we hit a dude with one of the tanks. So that's what happened there. That's, what, that's that air superiority that I talked about. Uh, fighter in the first round of combat, he took out this thing. Now these guys have three at four and one at five. So let's grab a couple more dice for them. There we go. Three at four and one at five. Now, if they're going to do something, they better do it now, right? So, missed on the fours. And one at five. No, they really want this hit because this is the only shot they're going to get with the tactical bomber. And if they get a, a one to three, then they're going to choose that tank, one of those tanks as a casualty. So, at five. And no, they got a nine. So, too bad for them. Too bad, so sad for the Italians. So what happens is they did not lose anything. These guys are off now and that transport plane now flies away. Uh, so he went, um, he started here at an air base and they go five spaces, I believe. So he can go six spaces because he's an air base. One, two, three, uh, four, well, he can go back there. Let's just go back to where he was there. Okay, so there he goes. He, he's back there. Okay, now, now we, we can carry on with the attack. Or we could retreat. If we retreat, though, like you can't retreat an airborne infantry, right? So <laughs> that's another reason for us not to retreat. Anyway, we're just going to roll again because we don't have to worry about any artillery or anything. This is a pretty straight up attack. So we've got an airborne infantry at two, and that's a hit. And we've got two mechanized at three. And those are misses. We've got two tanks. That's it. And that's all they had. They had two. Right? They've only got two units down here. So we'll roll those two units. And they're at four. And those are misses. Too bad for them. So we put these on the board. And that's how you blitz. That is exactly how you blitz. And the fighter is in there. And this guy is in there. Okay, so that is that is your combat uh, land combat. Um, that's two different types. There was one where we, we attacked something that had a mountain border a territory. And there was uh, an attack where there was no modifiers. And we were able to blitz through there. Uh, if there was a, if this was a mountain territory or had a mountain border, or this was a mountain territory or had a mountain border or a river for that matter, we couldn't have blitzed into there. But that was not the case, so we were able to blitz and we were able to take them out. And we put our pies on and we put the French up too. So they go from eight to ten. And these guys go from four to two. 
And then we now we have a big party because the French are obviously the toughest guys around. Now this guy here is not going to move until non-combat movement. The other guys moved because uh, their attacks were done and they were done before the end of the combat phase was done, right? So they, they moved already. Um, but this guy here, we're, we're going to leave him here and um, I'm going to do some other combat videos, but when we do non-combat, then I will come back and I will move this guy back on non-combat, okay? So that's it. That's your, uh, that's your land combat. Um, let me just take a quick look at that land combat here. Let's see if I'm missing anything. If you look on page 40 of your rule book, you see all the green there? There's a table there. That is going to show you all the steps in land combat, okay? Just so you know that. So page 40. So uh, it talks about first strike. Uh, it talks about the attacker rolling first. Uh, talks about the, the talks about the defender selecting the casualties, and then it talks about the defender rolling, and and then it talks about the attacker having the option to retreat, and then it says to repeat all those steps until the battle is over, and then it talks about blitz, and that's what we did. That's exactly what we did. So that is all the stages of land combat. And that is the end of this video. So take care. Oops, look at this guy. He's drunk. <laughs> he was French in there, wine. Anyway, that's it, everyone. Take care. Turn around, grenade out.